Well, Manchester United have announced their first, their first preseason match. And I'm going to let you know which team are you going to be playing against and where. <laughs> That's it. Ruben Neves to United negotiations have commenced. Ruben Neves has been one of those players that United have been always looking in for for the previous three summers. And maybe this time round, United might be into <coughs> the chapter of really getting their man. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys? And where you're watching us from, Rock and David is my name. How is your morning? How is your Tuesday? We are just some four days away from playing Newcastle away at St. James's Park as most of the players of United are set to return to London. Not, not London. It's Carrington to train ahead of the fixture of Newcastle. And there is Rasmus Hoagland has thrown in an update again concerning Manchester United as how he admires players that have been playing at Manchester United after him letting us know that he loves Manchester United. And lastly, Robin Van Persie coming out and really giving Eric Ten Hag his props as far as his first season at United is concerned. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see it that we really hit 12,000 subscribers before the end of this month and I know we can make it because I trust in you guys and we are heading to the summer transfer window if you don't want to miss out on anything concerning United News go ahead and do the needful and subscribe to this channel now let's get to the first preseason game we all know that United is going to spend the lion's share of its preseason in America and obviously this time round we've been told by Lord Whitwell that Manchester United will face Wrexham at San Diego Snapdragon Stadium on July 25th, first match announced of the club's US preseason tour. That is it. So when you look at United, they are really getting ready to find themselves in a position of warming up for their preseason. Last time, United was in Asia and Australia. That's it. They were that side. This time around, they've chosen to go ahead and play down in America. And for Eric Ten Hag, one thing that he would go ahead and really call in for is for discipline for these players. And we are told we are told that, and we are told that the reason as to why they went to the east coast of America, it's because Ten Hag wants to test, wants to test the discipline of his players. Will they really obey or abide by his rules of not going to? nightclubs because Las Vegas where United is going to be most of the times is really one of those cities that really has a lot of happening places and uh, some United players might be really want to snip out and go and Ten Hag wants to test them on their discipline so let's wait and see how whether they will pass it or not but Ten Hag wants also players he doesn't want to go to the preseason with only one signing as he did last season sorry last preseason that we had in Asia and Australia we only had Malaysia. That's it. So he needs to be having like three players on him such that he finds himself in a position of really integrating them into the team. And we all know that if I really had gotten these players early enough, we wouldn't have seen ourselves losing to teams like, like Brighton, Brentford and very many others. Not so. So to me, I believe Ten Hag is right and we are heading to America. Wrexham <clears throat> is one of those teams that is really upcoming and doing great so we are waiting to see how they are going to tussle it out with Manchester United outside there in America so that's the first game confirmed and I know many of such games are coming in through it has been even confirmed on the website of Manchester United if you are in America or you are planning to be America in the summer you can even buy yourself a ticket because they are available right now for that game so that's it about the United first game we are going to play into you that <clears throat> it's not the first game it's the first confirmed game because we might even play one before 25th tw the 25th of july because i believe the training session will begin towards towards i think at the beginning of july they need three weeks to really train intensively then after three weeks they can be playing one game so to me i believe around 20th you need to be playing their first game. 19th, 20th, they'll be playing their first game. Then later, they'll find themselves in a position of really doing the needful. But remember last season, we played our first game around uh, <clears throat> around uh, the first week of July. That was Liverpool in 
in Thailand and we beat Liverpool by four goals to one. So let's leave that at that and let's get into the Ruben Neves, a player who has been on the ladder of Manchester United. A source close to Barcelona has confirmed to us that Ruben Neves is already negotiating what could be his transfer to Manchester United starting next summer, that is at Sport. Remember, Manchester United is one of those teams that has on several occasions admired Ruben Neves. On three particular summers, we've been linked to Ruben Neves and we couldn't land the signing of this player. Why? Because <clears throat> we never took a CDM as a priority at Manchester United. For that, I know. We never took a CDM as a priority at Manchester United. And this time round, it looks like Eric Ten Hag knows that without Casemiro, <laughs> no life. We always win games, but the way we win those games are really pragmatic. So he wants to bring in another CDM. And for Eric Ten Hag, <clears throat> he never signed any player that he never knew in the Premier League. That's why among us all players in the Premier League went in for Ericsson. Why? He knew Ericsson because Ericsson, <clears throat> after, after recovering from the cardiac arrest and was past fit, he was training with Ajax for the last six months of the month of, sorry, of the year. I think the last three months of the year, the last three months for the year of uh, 2021. And in 2022, he signed for Brentford and he signed a six months contract. Then he played very well. And when Eric Ten Hag came in at Manchester United, told him, come to me because I feel like you're going to be a very pivotal player at Manchester United. And the reason as to why he never signed players from the Premier League was simple. He was known to well conversant with the players in the Premier League. But this time around, He's in the Premier League, he's watching these games, watching these players play, and he has an eye for good players. And maybe he has really noticed Ruben Neves that he can be a very good player when it comes to playing for Manchester United, especially into that position of Casemiro. And the beauty of Ruben Neves is that he can play in the double pivot alongside Casemiro. Even when Casemiro is away, he can come in and really do that job. Because a team that was wanting him is known at Barcelona, Barcelona are not having money. They are not having money with them. That's it. They are not having money with them and they are really struggling. Barcelona is struggling. Is struggling because <clears throat> the president of the La Liga, that is Tobias, came out and told us that Barcelona <clears throat> will not sign players not until they sell players. So we will not sign players unless they really sell players. So each and every player they sell, the amount of money they get from him, they can only spend 40%. Even the return of Lionel Messi has been punctured by the president of La Liga has told him that they need to really see Messi reduce his salary and then they need to find themselves in a position of really letting other players go to accommodate Lionel Messi into their team. However much they are signing him on a free, they need to really see him fit into that system that La Liga set to really see it that they don't violate the financial fair play rule at Barcelona. So Ruben Neves was linked to Barcelona and a deal had been confirmed that in the summer he's going to move to Barcelona. Do you know the reason as to why? They couldn't sign him last season because he had two years left on his contract and he was expensive. Close to 70 million pounds was the amount of money that Wolverhampton Wonders was calling in for. This time around, I think around 40, 50 million pounds you can get Ruben Neves. And it said that YC ahead, Wolverhampton Wanderers have already gotten in a replacement for this guy. And he known as Matthias Nunes, who was playing at Sporting Lisbon, and they brought him in to play at the club of Wolverhampton Wanderers as a replacement for Ruben Neves, meaning that they anticipated his departure in the summer as he said no to a new contract at Wolverhampton Wanderers. 26 years of age, I like him, press resistant, his physicality is really great. He wins earlier duels and grand duels. And he's really one of those players that you can recon with if at all Casemiro is suspended, injured, or you want to rest him. Premier League proven. Free kick specialist. He has good shots on him. Outside the Tina's box area. Good passing range. He's a complete player that is just needing to go to a team like Manchester United to really achieve what we call the world-class status. Look at him when he's playing for Portugal. He plays very well and he has all the attributes of a central defense midfielder that can play at the best of the midfield of United. And I think will be a very good signing for Eric Ten Hag. And I think if I told Eric, Eric Ten Hag cannot get Frankie De Jong, he's not going to go ahead and really go in to risk out 
players of other teams, sorry, of other leagues that he's not used to, he'll go in and really say, can you get me Ruben Neves? He's left with one year on his contract. I think we can get him at like 50 million pounds because, you know, for us to get in players at Manchester United, we need to sell to buy. That has been confirmed by everyone at the club. Even when the Qatar is coming in through, they, we will need to sell to buy. <laughs> That's it. Let no one lie to you that it's not going to be the case. It's going to be the case that we'll be needing to sell to buy because that's the order of the day because the financial fair prelude will gate <coughs> in <coughs> the financial fair prelude will gate court of us if at all you don't really obey with them so to me i hundred percent believe we are going to find ourselves in a situation of really getting these players of the cheap and i think ten Hag has done a very brilliant job according to me because he's identifying those players that we can get on a cheap and that's why we're negotiating or Ruben Neves negotiating a deal to Manchester United. You know, his agent is known as um, <clears throat> George Mendes. He has brought very many players to Manchester United and United can tell him, please, he's your, he's your client. Can you please bring him to Manchester United? We are having like 40 million pounds to spend. And you know very well that if you are to spend money, <clears throat> that's not from selling those players it's going to be like a hundred million pounds so if at all you can get Ruben Neves at 40 million pounds that will be a bargain for us do you know why I've always told you on several occasions when I'm doing videos concerning the midfield <coughs> the midfield targets of United that we need a midfielder first I think that team of United if at all we had a replacement or a backup for Casemiro we wouldn't have been suffering to this level you get all those games that Casemiro was away would have gone ahead to win them like that game of Leeds. Have Ruben Neves into that team that played against Leeds at Old Trafford win that game. Have Ruben Neves in the game played at Arsenal. We don't lose that game. You get? <clears throat> so, the game we played against Fulham. Paulinha controlled that midfield and to me was the player of the match. That's it. But if I had Ruben Neves, would have gone ahead to do that job and obviously take us to the dream world. So... <clears throat> He's really doing a great job of identifying players on the cheap that we can sign. And if at all he can sign <coughs> Ruben Neves and Hodgeland at like 80 million pounds, that means <coughs> he'll be left with some good money to sign a central defender, maybe a goalkeeper, a right back from the amount of money he's going to get from these sales. And you know, before you sell these players like Scott McTominay from the midfield, you need to first get in a replacement. And Ruben Neves is up for grabs. And I know the amount of money that we'll be having will be really able to really get in a player like Ruben Neves at the club of Manchester United at all. It's really approved by Eric Ten Hag. And let's leave that at that and let's get into the other story by the way he's left with one year on his contract that is ruben neves and that's why they are working tooth and nail to see that they sell him because if they don't sell him they lose him out on a free next season then let's go to hojland hojland after dropping a hint that he supports Manchester united and he would love to be playing for Manchester united he has also dropped another hint that he follows Cristiano Ronaldo from Manchester United, Real Madrid. Ronaldo is his idol, meaning that he loves players that played Manchester United and he loves Ronaldo. And he knows where Ronaldo became where and, and he knows where Ronaldo was groomed to become what he is right now. And he's almost in the same age like Ronaldo. You get? The difference is Ronaldo was playing in Premier La Liga, Sporting Lisbon, and for him he's playing at Atalanta. But that doesn't rule out a move for him to come to Manchester United because we are the team with one of the best managers in the world, that is Eric Ten Hag, who has gone ahead to improve very many players on the field of play as it stands right now at Manchester United. So to me, I believe he's really a very good player that we need to see him play at the club of Manchester United and obviously recon with him to come in and get the job done at Manchester United. He's just two years older than a Ronaldo we signed in, 20, in 2003. Ronaldo was 18, Hojbag is sorry Hojland is 20 years of age so throwing into that hint is really great for us that he might find himself at Manchester United by the end of the summer and lastly let's talk about Robin Van Persie has come out and told us that if they give Ten Hag time and I hope they give him a lot of time Man United can get back to winning can get back at a constant winning level the way United play football is fun and exciting but best of all is Eric Ten Hag's philosophy and structure. That's it. Ten Hag is the positivity out of this season. 
I know players are really playing very well, but they wouldn't have been playing like that without Eric Ten Hag's philosophy and structure. So I think Robin Van Persie is, has really hit the nail on its top, and Eric Ten Hag is the mastermind of what is happening at Manchester United. So guys, your thoughts on Ruben Neves to United negotiations? To United negotiations are welcome in the comment section below. What do you think about Hodgeland throwing another hint of loving a player that was at Manchester United? Nurtured, he was there for like six years and then returned and played for like one and a half seasons and goes to Saudi Arabia as Ronaldo. And your thoughts on to United going away in America to play against Wrexham are also welcome in the comment section below. Rokan David remains my name. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in on a daily. May the Almighty Lord bless you abundantly because this video has just recorded it again because the first one never had sound and here I am coming in peace to repeat it. See you letters. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Ciao, ciao.